Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I am Candace. I've got a little project today. So let me show you. Mm, my hair tie. Out the basement door is, you know, dirt, moss, grass. That's what it is. So I've got all of these stones right here. They're in a trailer. <laughs> in the driveway up there. So I've literally got to carry them all down here. And we're going to build ourselves a little patio so that when it rains or when you're just coming out the basement or in and out of the basement, because this is the backyard and it's like a nice little area. So all of the stones are in this trailer. All right, let's get ready. Pull my hair up because it is gonna be hot. <laughs> Put my gloves on. I don't know where my garden gloves are, so my kitchen gloves are just gonna have to work for today. So. I can literally carry one at a time. All right, so I'm gonna finish my patio, walkway, whatever you wanna call it. I went to Walmart and bought myself a shovel because it's uneven and if I go ahead and put these here, then you can't open the door. So I'm gonna have to like dig that out and make it where it's even. And then there's a couple of spots when you walk, it's just like, you know, it needs to be like leveled out. So here we go, shovel time. You don't gotta watch it the whole time. Alright, so here I'm digging all of this out, trying to level out the ground here so that it isn't, so the door can open for one. And this was a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. should have waited to put the rest of these down until I did this, but you know. You live, you learn. Oh. I'm over here playing in the mud today. <laughs> That's what I feel like. I'm playing in the mud. And I really feel like I should not have laid all of this stuff out like I did until I was ready to even it out because just evening out this one section has turned it, it's not just it's not that simple yeah so I'm knee deep in mud and you know but it's gonna get done today <laughs> so as I'm playing in mud placing my bricks I was just sitting here thinking you know about my channel um, I've been told to find a niche find a niche that is the way to grow your channel that's the way to be successful or find or grow your following faster or whatever and I'm just like you know what's my niche I don't really have one is what I've concluded and I don't really want one 
to be real honest. Um, I feel like that confines me to this one little bubble or this one box and I've never been the kind of person that you could fit in one little square box. So I don't really, you know, my channel's not going to be all real estate oriented or do it yourself. It's not going to be all fashion. It's not going to be all anything. You know, it's going to be everything. Everything that I do. Like, I am the niche. I think I, I should be the niche. I am Candace. That's a new niche. <laughs> Like, if it just, and if it makes it harder, I guess, to grow on here because I don't have a niche, I don't have or fit in this one little bubble that people want you to, you know, fit yourself in, then I mean, I guess, I mean, I'm just gonna have to be okay with that. And it'll just be harder and slower to grow. Because at the end of the day, I just wanna be me not what people think I should be. I've always liked a good challenge anyway. But hopefully, like, you guys will see that and, you know, you will subscribe and support me being me. All organic and everything. And, you know, if any of you watching have a YouTube that you're trying to grow, it's a mosquito. Go away. Drop me a comment because I'll subscribe to your channel. I think we should all support each other. And I'm here for that. So. Ugh. And feel free to tell me what you would like to see. You know, if it's something that I do, I'll, maybe we'll do more videos on that. Oh. Maybe we'll do more videos on that. I'm not a fan of doing this today. Right now, it is hot. Hey, there's a deer. There's deer running through the woods. Oh, I have deer in my backyard. There's a creek down there too, and maybe next year I'll get around to cleaning that area up. Right now, I feel like I'm dying. Oh. I really had in my mind that this was going to be so much easier than it is. And I'm done. I'm soaking wet with sweat, but I'm finally finished. I just need to clean up a little bit around it go buy a water hose and spray it all off. Ugh. I want to get some sand or some like little pea gravel to put around this unit and on the other side and maybe do a flower bed along the rest of the way of the house. But um, I'm kind of proud of myself for getting this done. So now at least once it's cleaned off, you come out the basement door, you're not just stepping right down into mud. So, thank you for watching this do-it-yourself video and please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Peace out. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm so dirty.